Hey YouTube, this is Facia with Simply Lavish at Home. Hopefully you're excited for the holidays. I know I am, even though some of my YouTube colleagues have me feeling like a bum for just now putting out a Christmas video. But personally, I refuse to put out anything new until at least after Thanksgiving is over. So I got it together now, and now I'm gonna show you some of the projects and swaps that I use at my house that'll hopefully give you some inspiration for some pain-free holiday decorating. Check it out. So let me start with the artwork. Um, this, for example, is a picture that I have on a shelf in my living room. It's an urban scene, a train station, but I wanted to swap it out for something a little more festive than the holidays. So shopping in the craft store, I came across this reindeer head that you see all over the place. It is a really popular pattern. And the paper was already like this. So I literally just, this cost a dollar. I took out, I didn't even take it out. I just put it in front of the other picture and stuck it right back on the shelf. In similar fashion, um, this backdrop that you usually see behind me and various videos is in my living room. So I took out the red, or even I didn't even take it out, I just left them in there, but put this silver and white motif papers over it. You can do this with fabric, you can do this with paper, wrapping paper, whatever fits the color scheme or theme that you're going for. And it doesn't even have to be just for Christmas. It could be any season or any time you want a change of color. Um, now this is usually a red rose that you've probably also seen behind me in various videos. I couldn't find any artwork that I really, really moved me to change. So I just wrapped it, I made it a present. And you can see that um, I have some, a couple of trees and it's on the sideboard in my dining room. And so automatically festive, a couple of dollars worth of wrapping paper and all lit up at night. This is what it looks like. You can see the ribbon a little bit better in, at night because it's low contrast, both were silver. In retrospect, I probably should have used white, but I had a ton of silver ribbon that I wanted to use. But it looks nice and you see the trees, the only thing it has on there are the lights. Not every tree has to be fully decorated. The lights go a long way. And on my sofa. Now my pillows are usually red and black and white, but I wanted to change it up, something cozy and a lot of texture for the holiday. So again, since everything I've been doing is kind of white on white, I went to the thrift store and got sweaters. All of these pillows are made from old sweaters. That basket weave sweater was actually really cute and not, it almost hurt to cut it. But um, for the video, for you guys, I went on and cut it and left them pretty much how they are. I wasn't worried about any colors being different, any shades of white or ivory being different, because really what I'm looking for is texture. So if you're gonna do this project, what you wanna look for in the garment is a lot of texture and the right size, because I left the side seams intact and only had to stitch the top and the bottom. And my sewing skills are pretty much, I can sew on a button and maybe mend a sock. So it doesn't take a, a lot of skill. And I think it gave really big impact along with that throw that you see there. Now I've always said in some of my videos, use your stuff. So I wanted to show you that I use the stuff that I already have. Don't necessarily always have to buy things. Um, new, but this is the collapsible lantern that I've showed you in some previous videos. And here I just used it for Christmas. Um, changed out the flowers that I had from before to some poinsettias, to um, carnations, some nice winter flowers. But again, I just want to illustrate that I do recycle and reuse a lot of the stuff that you might see that I've used in previous videos or just around the house. Now onto this really cute project. I thought this was so cute. I made a bunch of little snowballs out of styrofoam balls and you'll see there, I'm brushing on just regular old school glue or school uh, all purpose glue and dipping them in that synthetic snow. Once you get them all in the bowl and light them up, 
this is what it looks like. Inside is just one of those inexpensive tap lights that you get at the dollar store, turn it on, and it glows from the inside, and I thought it was exceptionally cute. And last but not least, I want to talk about my tree. It's not Christmas without the tree. It's the centerpiece of the evening. And here it's simply done. Um, again, all in white. The theme for my day is let it snow. So we've got a ton of snowflakes and all lit up. This is how it looks. And I think this is the one time I'm almost fully satisfied with how the tree turned out. So I thought everything looked dope, but let me know what you think. I love to read your comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you don't follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram at, at @simplylavishlife, Twitter at, at @simplylavish, and Facebook at @simplylavishchicago. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Here's to the holidays, and here's to living simply lavishly. Cheers.